what I need. Blanket, I need it to live. Uh. Hi guys, it's new. So a while back in the winter, I did a video about all the things that I do to handle my chronic pain from the fibromyalgia and the narcolepsy, blah, 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 all that. And one of the main things that I talked about was the heated blanket. I have the Bidford one, which is what I talked about in the video. And I mentioned, I think, that I had had to replace it because, you know, I use it pretty much every day and after several months, you know, kind of stops working. Well, I had to replace that second one. So I was just chilling underneath it. I was having a bad flare up and I had to go pee or something. So I got up and when I got back to my room, it smelled like burning like that. Just, you know, that smell. And I was like, oh no. And I went over and I touched the blanket and sure enough, it had cooled down. I brought it up and it smelled awful like burning. And I checked the uh, power supply and the little control and it was just dead. So, it's really hard for me to go any night without a heated blanket because I'm in so much pain all day long, but especially at night that I can't sleep. You know, I get a couple hours of sleep every night. I try to go to bed at the latest midnight. On average, it takes me three ish hours to fall asleep so I was like crap you know I need to get a new one it's you know I, I'm not gonna be able to sleep my flare-up is gonna get worse and so I contacted them because I was like you know they have like a five-year warranty or something and they gave me all these complicated instructions like send it back or something I don't know but anyway I, I, could, I couldn't wait, like that was going to take forever and when I did some research online people were saying that they were kind of awful at customer service, like they would send you, you'd have to send your blanket and they would send it with a new power supply but then it would break again like a week later. So I, I went around town and I tried to find it but these are not in season because it's LA and it's a hot, we're on fire here and so everyone at like Target and all the different places were like looking at me like I was crazy like why is this girl, why does she need a heated blanket, it's 90 degrees out but anyway desperately I went searching around and I bought another one and it died like two days later and then I don't know what was going on with that week but then my shoulder heating pad died and so I went to get a new one and then that died like a day later so I was just having all this bad luck and I was so fed up with this Bidford blanket just keep dying on me because these are expensive that I was like okay well why don't I try a different brand so I decided to look up the brand uh, the same brand as the shoulder heating pad which is Sunbeam and I got it I got a Sunbeam heated blanket and um you know, it's not a bad blanket, but I'm going to be honest, like, the Bidford has 10 heat settings, and so turning it on all the way to 10 is so nice when I'm having that flare up, and plus this is like, I mean, this is huge, and it's very um, flexible, and I can just bundle myself up, wrap myself up completely in it, and it's so nice. And this thing has three settings. It's awkward, it's kind of bulky, I don't know, it has this whole thing and it's not in the right corner, so like, like look at this. This is the control, so I'd have to sleep with this next to me, whereas this had like a really long cord and I could have it like down there and then have it like on my bedside table so I could control it but like oh my god I'm just you know this kinda gets the job done I'll turn it on to high but it's not the same like this was mega pain relief relaxation really helping me get through the night and get good rest and this is like you know I'll turn it on to high and I'll sweat but it doesn't feel like it's penetrating you know the the muscle pain and all that so I'm just like I don't know what to do anymore because I'm like I'm in so much pain right now and I have to go to work soon. Right now I would normally be just bundled up under the blanket relaxing and, and, and resting and maybe meditating so that I could feel better for my shoot but it's like I can't bundle myself up in the sunbeam. I can't, it's, it's not, um, you know, what do I do? Do I waste more money on the Bidford? Do I try to contact them again, like I just, I don't know, it's so frustrating, like all I need, I just need that heat, I don't know what else I can do. <laughs>
I saw the chiropractor today and he did a lot of adjustments and he's like, you know, you need to start coming in again regularly. So I'm gonna see him again next week and just my my spine, like the past couple of weeks, just my flare-ups have been really, really bad. Just like right now, my spine all the way down and my arms are burning and aching and the pain is just going <laughs> and it expands. And so by the time well, I guess someone's mowing the lawn, so I should end this video because um, there's no way for me to block that noise out. My door is closed and everything. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's my dilemma. I, you know, if you have any recommendations, please tell me. I'm gonna try to contact Bidford again because this is the blanket that helps me. This is nice, but it's not enough, and I just, I just don't know. I, I'm in a lot of pain, and I. My schedule is crazy, you know, I, I have two jobs, I go to school, and I'm doing these vlogs every day, and, and editing and recording and doing all that, and so I have almost no free time, and I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Stay cool. Bye. Hey, well, I'm back. So... This video is not over yet. It has been a few weeks, but um, I got just completely fed up with that sunbeam blanket because I've just been having a really bad flare up. I've been in so much pain. You know, I've been going to the chiropractor every week, I've been going to the acupuncturist every two weeks. That helps, but even then, it's just like I've been having so much trouble, you know, resting, sleeping because I need that constant heat. So, I was like, screw it, I'm gonna just <laughs> order another Biddeford blanket, and I did, and this is what I did. So I got a new one, it's really nice, it's blue, it's big, it's soft, it's perfect in my bed with my purple blanket and my pink stuff. And as luck would have it, this is the same thing that happened to me last time, right when I got this new blanket, my favorite heating pad, my shoulder heating pad, died like a few days later. It's the curse of the dying heating pads and electric blankets. Excuse me. So, you know, I went out and I had to get another one because I, I just can't, I can't function without them. I, when I'm at my desk, I am always wearing this shoulder heating pad because if I don't, I'm in too much pain to work. And when I'm at my desk, you know, I'm editing, I'm drawing, I'm writing, I'm working on things. If, even if I'm just having fun, I'm, you know, catching up on YouTube or, or anime or playing video games. Like, I need that heat to be able to play and do stuff more. So, I also, I emailed these people and I said, hey, you know, they keep dying, what do I do? You know, these, these heating pads last me exactly like seven or eight months each time. And yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so I called the Biddeford people and you know, I was really honest with them. I said, hey, I need your blankets to survive, but they just don't last and I can't afford to keep buying them. You know, how do I make use of that warranty? How do I get the most out of it? And uh, the lady on the line was really cool and she was like, well, you know, give me your address and give me the uh, little code on the power supply, the little controller for the blanket, and we'll send you some replacements and see if that fixes the problem. So, they're here, she sent them to me, and uh, I thought, you know, let's just try plugging it in and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, then it means basically the whole blanket needs to be replaced. But, you know, cool, I have these um, extra things, so. Let's try it, I guess. I don't know. So this is the plug. Plug it in right now. Okay, it is plugged in. Now we plug this into the port on the actual blanket. And this is the controller. Let's just... The light, the light came on, okay. I'm gonna turn it to high and just sit here with the blanket on my lap, I guess, and see what happens. In the meantime, I'm gonna have some tea. <laughs> it's warm-ish. It still smells burnt. 
It's not hot, I turned it to high. Oh, wait. Nope, sorry. The light went off. I guess it died again. I guess it's the blanket, I don't know. Well, it was worth a shot. At least I have my other blanket. I don't know if these are just made poorly or if it's because I use them so much. I feel like maybe it's a little bit of both because if you go read the reviews on these blankets, like people are like, it caught fire while my daughter was asleep and <laughs> stuff like that. So I don't know, but I need blanket. I need it to live. Uh. So that was uh, me trying to fix the blanket, I guess. So yeah, just keep that in mind if you're like me and you have chronic pain and you need these blankets to live. Call the hotline and just be honest with them. Say, you know, I, I really like your product and I need it, but they just don't last. And they'll send you stuff and see what they can do. I'm going to um, call them back and tell them that the new thingy did not work. And uh, I guess I have to like send them this whole dead blanket all the way to like Maine or wherever they are. And then they'll send me a new one. That's that. Thanks for watching. Bye! I need blankets. I need it to live. <laughs> Hi guys, it's new. So a while back in the winter I did a video about all the things that I do to handle my chronic pain from the fibromyalgia and the narcolepsy, blah blah blah, all that. And one of the main things that I talked about was the heated blanket. I have the Bidford one, which is what I talked about in the video. And I mentioned, I think, that I had had to replace it because, you know, I use it pretty much every day and after several months, you know, kind of stops working. Well, I had to replace that second one. So I was just chilling underneath it. I was having a bad flare up and I had to go pee or something. So I got up and when I got back to my room, it smelled like burning like that. Just, you know, that smell. And I was like, oh no. And I went over and I touched the blanket and sure enough, it had cooled down. I brought it up and it smelled awful like burning. And I checked the uh, power supply and the little control and it was just dead. So it's 